and I have to honor her and I have to honor that. Well, it's, I mean, it's a balancing act, right? So yes, the false egos gotta go, but certain egos are very important and necessary. Right now I'm in my new identity of self-sovereignty, self-sourcing, grounded, talking on lives. I never did this before. This is my new identity and I'm sure there will be a time where this is asked to be deleted and I will delete it. And it might suck and I might have fear around it, but I'll just do it and trust and know. And that to me is how my life's been going. Like, will you let this go? Will you let that go? When it no longer serves you, don't stay stuck in something. Take what you need. You will always be given what you need. And then when you start taking from that, when it's not working for you anymore, either you start taking because you couldn't keep balance with it or it's taking from you, it's time to go. Next. But when you maintain balance in yourself, when you maintain balance in something, you, you keep that structure with your mind. You can stay in something a lot longer. And so that's why it's really important to learn how to balance, how to structure for the seasons that are inevitable. They're coming, right? And that's what to me, the season changing teaches us. Weather teaches us that. A hurricane is gonna come, right? So when you build your house, you put hurricane shutters on it because you know it's gonna come. It's inevitable. So me, staying grounded and structured in this time right now is what's needed is because I'm getting ready for the inevitable. Like a new belief system is gonna come up. A new thing I need to tackle is gonna come up because this is a path that I chose for me. So yeah, you know, I used to be my own worst enemy even when I thought I was saving myself. I still was my enemy, it's crazy. I was like obsessed with the idea of being out of the matrix and reality sucking balls and blah 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 and all these like belief systems. I started constructing this house that was still built in fear. So until you build yourself a structure that's based on love, however you need to find that, true love, it's never going to stand. It's not going to withstand the test of time. And that's the whole point of becoming the Christ, becoming your, your highest self, awakening your Christ consciousness. That's how you anchor it. Does that make sense? Exactly. It shouldn't be this complicated. This is a roller coaster. <laughs> because I just start talking and I never know where it's going to go. And I'm listening, like, sometimes my ears are listening to me and I'm like, oh, okay, that's interesting. Like, I'm listening as it's coming because it's like, oh, okay. And then sometimes I get a little into a tangent, but you know. Everyone lives on social media these days. It's ruined our world. Okay, I want to talk about that statement. Has it ruined? I mean, there's two sides to every coin, even in that statement. For me, it's done both in a sense, but I'm not going to give it that much power over me because social media is not my master. I'm its master. So you just, I mean, if people were taught that concept and that's the whole point of how to make things your, like, not to be the master of you, then it could actually be used for good. And I think there's a lot of spaces on the internet where it is being really used for good. And a lot of good things are happening with it. But with that, you're always gonna get bad. That's just how life works. We live in a 3D reality where there is always going to be duality. That's just a fact. Are you single now? Depends. Today it's bless my eyes with your me. Are you an empath? I don't like those labels. Um, this is her first live in a month, <laughs> literally. Um, Adrian, I gotta go work in a bit, but I look forward to your podcast, Future Lives. Thank you. Love a red pilled lady. Yeah, but even that concept, like, I, that shit blew my mind where I was like, red or blue. Like, do you not still see that you're making a choice? Like, you're still in the duality. And I'm like, I was and it's like how about no pill like I don't know like that's an option <laughs> like that wasn't even given I don't know how to explain it to me that's the ego view always try to be the bird always try to zoom out of the details that's what I always tell myself I'm like scroll out next screen like literally that's how I, I talk about it out loud to myself I know it probably sounds insane where I'm like okay I'm too invested in this next like I, I'm getting I need to zoom out what's the bigger picture and when you speak that way, you're commanding your mind. You're working with your belief system. 
The mind's not trying to hurt you. It's just how it works. It, your whole life, you've been taught to pay attention to the details, to, to focus on this and that, and to get good grades and oh, be this robot, right? The mind doesn't know. So treat your mind like a fucking cell phone robot. What's the bigger picture? Like, come in and stop. Like, stop all thoughts. What's the bigger picture? Zoom out of that. What is this teaching me? What is this showing me? This is why affirmations are powerful. Nobody is my friend or my enemy. That's just a label. Everybody is my teacher. I'm choosing to label everybody as my teacher. Therefore, I'm learning. If I'm not learning, I'm not listening. Sounds like you need Jesus. Okay, you know... <laughs> Nobody's listening. So basically the basics, exactly. Go back to basics with your mind. You have to rebuild it. Because school and circumstance and life builds it for you. But now it's time to take responsibility as an adult with access to a, a, like a disgusting amount of information that yes, you need to comb through with discernment. But that's why I have your anchor and go on your path. It's that simple. It really is. And you'll know. You'll know it when you see it. You'll know it when you read it. It will hit different. Philippines. Um, I'm clear audience. Do you know anything about that? I always thought it meant like things were speaking to you. And I do not like that. Because I'm like, listen, I am on my last like sanity strand that I have left. I cannot have things be talking to me. No, thank you. And so, and then someone made this video talking about like when you hear songs and like certain lyrics, they like stand out to you. It's like messages and, and like, or when someone says something and you hear it numerous times, I've always written that down. Like if I hear three things, if I hear something three times in a day, write it down. Um, Cause I know it's like, I don't know how to explain it. And that apparently is clear audience too. 